Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Adila Tasha. I'm an industrial engineer from Sebelas Maret University. I'm the presenter today, and I would like to present my paper about redesign of facilities layout using systematic layout planning on manufacturing company, a case study. So first, we move to the introduction session of this presentation. Um, in the growing market globalization, where customer demands are changing continuously, the enterprises have to focus on cost reduction and profitability. So that's why the improvement of productivity and the cost reduction are very important goals of all manufacturing companies because it can uh, develop the profit of the company. So uh, the optimal facility layout is an effective tool in the cost reduction by enhancing the productivity. And facility layout design involves a systematic physical arrangement of different departments, workstations, machines, equipment, storage areas, and common areas in a manufacturing company. And there are two methods for layout improvement. The first one is the rerouting material flow in a given facility that can improve the efficiency of material movement. But when rerouting is not efficient enough, the other way is the relayout of facility. Okay, next, after observing, uh, the company experienced several obstacles in the irregular layout of company facilities. And there are obstacles in the form of waste in the company. And waste in here is mean is the output generated from the production process. It's not by the plan, so uh, it means not optimum enough. So this can affect the next production process and will affect the long-term sustainability of the company. And one of the causes of this waste can be marked by the alternating flow during the production, pro the production process of trestle part. So uh, this waste can produce the high cost of material handling of the company. So, uh, in this paper, the statement of the problems based on the background that has been explained, the statement of the problem that forms the basis in this research report is how to redesign the facility layout of the company. And the objectives of the study is to provide proposals for the redesign of facility layout to company with minimal material handling costs using a SLP or systematic layout planning method. And there are two benefits of this study. There are first providing a proposal to redesign the facility layout for the company by reducing the cost of material handling. And the second one is provide a proposal to redesign the layout of facilities by reducing the distance between workstations related to the production process flow in the company. And the limitation of the problem used in this study are First, products used as research objects are those that have the highest demand. And the second one is layout improvement only in the brushing area of the company. So, uh, what is the facility layout planning? A good layout is a layout that can handle the material handling system as a whole. High cost of material handling can affect the company's long-term sustainability. And Systematic layout planning is a tool used to arrange a workplace in a plan by locating areas with high frequency and logical relationships close to each other. The process permits the quickest material flow in processing the product at the uh, at the lowest cost and least amount of handling. So, uh, the figure is the research methodology methodology used in this uh, in this research first first we do an initial observation and literature review problem identification objectives and benefits literature literature review and then data collection initially of data processing and data processing design proposal with systematic layout planning method and then the comparison, the performance of the initial layout with alternative layouts. And the last one is alternative layout is better than the initial layout. Which means that is uh, the, concur, the conclusion of this research. And then we move to the product test, 
we move to the product specification. Tracer is one of the superior part produced by the company with a total monthly demand of 455,000 units. This part has the highest demand compared to nine other products produced by the company. And the Tracer functions as one of the complementary components for storage data on hard disk drive or HDD. Tracer has a length of 6.5 cm and a width of 3.3 cm and the thickness of 1.9 cm. And then this is the initial layout planning of the company before a uh, redesign. And then the next one is the production process flow of the company. Uh, the star one is taking raw materials from the warehouse. And then pre-cut, machining, washing line, brushing, chemical polishing, v VMI, FVMI, store, and the last one is shipment. And this is one, uh, this is the production process flow in the brushing area itself. And then uh, the table here is the size and number of machines. So in this section, we discuss the size and number of machines available at each station in the brushing area of the company. So there are two kind of the machine that company has. There are machine for brushing and machine for you work on them. Next one is the distance data between workstations using like rectilinear method. <clears throat> so according to this table, we can conclude that uh, the production floor area in the brushing area of the company uh, with a total of the distance is 161.53 meter. And this is the calculation of the total cost of material handling cost each month in the initial layout with the total material handling cost is uh, 5 million and 377 groups. So the next one is the from to chart. And this is the alternative layout design of the company. And the next one is the material handling cost alternative layout with a total material handling cost per month is two million and nine hundred and seventy one rupiah and the next one is the comparison of material handling cost so uh, the total material handling cost per month for the initial layout is five million rupiah and the slt method after after redesign of facility layout is Two million and nine hundred groups. So the conclusion, conclusion of this research, based on the results of data processing and analysis that have been carried out previously, it can be concluded that first layout suggested using the SLP method succeeded in reducing the material handling cost of the production process flow trestle of the company. And the second one is the results of the improvements to the SLP method resulted in savings material handling costs by 44.7%. 40, and the suggestion of this research for further research that discusses regarding, regarding the design of layout proposals, it is also necessary to do the cost calculation others that might arise if changes done in layout of departments or facilities already available. This needs to be done so the implications of similar research can be more seen. And for more accurate results in improving the layout of facilities at the company, it is necessary to pay attention not only on one product, but to the production process flow of all products produced by the company. So that's all for me. Thank you for your participation of this presentation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi. Well, but okay.